I'm just going to talk a little bit about deleting equations now because this sometimes causes some confusion. If you click on the equation graphic and delete it, then the EQS statement still lives. So if uh, a redraw was triggered, and I can do that just by pressing enter, then uh, the equation is redrawn. So some people are under the misapprehension that just deleting the graphic gets rid of the equation. Uh, in fact, what you have to do is um, delete the EQS statement. And once the EQS statement is gone, then that equation will no longer be redrawn. There's lots of uh, additional settings on this button here. Uh, this is the About XLC and Settings button, and I'm just going to show you what's, uh, what's on here. First of all, uh, there's uh, all the all the all the XLC preferences are here. So here you can set your uh, the numbering, the equation numbering prefix. Uh, and I use EQN, but you could set that to anything you like. Uh, we can force uh, um, XLC to display equations with multiplication signs. Uh, you can choose your multiplication character. Some people like the cross, some people like the asterisk, some people like to use a dot. Uh, you can choose your default uh, uh, display of equations, an algebraic or numeric uh, display, may be preferred by some people. Uh, you can also set the vertical alignment uh, of your equation and that's really the position where you draw uh, operators whether it's on the uh, above the division line or in line with the division line by setting this parameter here to to mid um, you can set your uh, search preference uh, in terms of Amazon site uh, because the Amazon site is used uh, to uh, find uh, references. We use a lot of textbook references, so uh, we've got some search features uh, here that will look up your uh, preferred Amazon site automatically. And this button here is very important as well. This is the automatic uh, equation redraw, and this uh, controls all the automatic functioning of XLC, the automatic naming. Uh, the automatic redrawing of equations and uh, you can switch it off here by unselecting this checkbox. Now I can Im the only time I can imagine you want to do this is if you had an enormous spreadsheet and somehow the uh, the functionality of XLC was compromising your performance so you could choose to switch it off here. The other part of this dialog that's interesting uh, tells us about uh, our xlcalcs.com account details and, and here's my uh, username and here's my release code. Uh, with this release code, this is the software release code, then uh, my software will function in the XLC Pro mode. Uh, if I delete the release code uh, and I can check my subscription, it tells me that uh, in fact my software, uh, my account is not uh, currently active and the software will work in the XLC Ed mode. And I'll show you the difference that, that will make to the display of equations. Uh, I'm going to redraw uh, all the equations now, this time in the XLC Ed mode, and uh, look at the difference it makes. Uh, there's an addition of this uh, watermark here, we call this the equation watermark, and it's just to show uh, that the software is in fact for uh, free use can be used freely by uh, any user providing it's in a non-commercial application. Uh, any commercial use of the program requires to have an active uh, XLC Pro subscription at the xlcalcs.com site.